We've all been here before. The fridge is filled with leftovers and food that you just don't know how to use. You don't have time to make a gourmet meal, you just need enough to fill your stomach. Maybe you're a struggling college student with a tight schedule. Maybe you're a gym enthusiast looking to bulk. Maybe you're the parent of a kid with a dietary restriction. With Let Me Cook, meal planning goes from a weeks-long endeavor to just about instantaneous. By taking a picture of your open fridge, shopping cart, or cupboard, and filling a form with your meal preferences, you can have recipes recommended to you with the ingredients you have. From a quick 5-minute snack to a Michelin star meal with an hour-long prep time, we turn your empty fridge into a world of infinite culinary possibilities. Let Me Cook was developed using T3 app, a stack comprising Next.js, TRPC, TypeScript, and Tailwind, utilizing React and Radix UI. The application is hosted on Vercel with the lemmecook.us domain. Clicking the scan button will bring the user to the camera, where they will be able to take a picture of their food. Now that we have the photo, you can fill out an optional form to clarify your dietary requirements and restrictions, and highlight a certain area of the photo for the AI. Upon clicking Use Parameters, the photo and form data are sent to the backend for processing, while you will see our loading screen. The backend server was developed using Python, Flask, and NGRUF for public IP hosting. The backend server's primary function is to classify the ingredients from the taken image and generate a custom recipe based on the ingredients and requested nutritional info. After the Base64 image is received from the graphical user interface via an HTTP post request, it is decoded and passed into the Google Cloud Vision API. Here, an object segmentation model is used to classify each of the seen objects as food ingredients and return them to the backend server. Once this process is complete, the extracted ingredients are then passed into the Edamame API to pull the corresponding nutritional information from the food database. After this, the ingredients, nutritional information, and user's dietary restrictions are all passed into OpenAI's API, where a personalized recipe is generated through a custom prompt to accommodate all requests. Finally, the recipe, step-by-step -step instructions, and nutritional information are all returned to the front-end interface via the original HTTP request to be displayed. Now that we've looked at what happens on the back end, we're going to look at what happens on the front end after the recipe and the ingredients are generated. So as you can see, this is what the page looks like once the recipe has been generated. The name of the recipe is at the top with a few tags that correspond to the restrictions and requirements that were implemented. So these are the instructions, these are the nutritional facts, and this is the full list of all the ingredients that were used, complete with their nutritional facts and daily values. So on this page, the user can choose to generate a new recipe, to scan another image, or to go back home. Here is a live demo of our application. With our app, millions of busy home chefs can learn how to keep their food from going to waste by turning leftovers into tasty lunch. Stop worrying about what to make and just make it with Let Me Cook.